Hi guys, happy new year. I just wanted to make a quick video, kind of like an update and mini haul sort of thing. Um, I was going to incorporate this into my next video, but I think I want to keep everything separate. Just so it's a bit more streamlined if you watch it later and whatever. <laughs> so before I get started, I just wanted to say sorry for a couple of things. Firstly is that I'm having really bad allergies at the moment, so I'm going to try and keep my sniffling and sneezing out of the video. If my voice sounds a bit different, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've also got this beautiful band-aid on my hand. <laughs> I've got a nice rash coming up there, so I just want to cover it up because it doesn't look very cute. So just ignore that, please. The second thing is I'm so sorry I've been MIA on YouTube recently. Um... I had a few videos planned for the November, December period, but a lot of things have been happening in my life, just a lot of changes and it's been really busy. So, you know, I have to put my real life as my priority. <laughs> sorry, guys. Uh, particularly sorry to the people who requested videos from me. I did have those lined up and I still do have them lined up. It's just a bit of a delay. So I'm so sorry. The videos are coming, I promise. I just want to get this one out of the way, update you guys with what's going on. And I've got another one coming up that I want to get out as soon as possible. And then we're just back on regular schedule, I hope. So let's get started. This is everything I got for Christmas slash the holiday period. Most of it is self-gifted. <laughs> and I know you're thinking I'm late, but today, January 7th, is my Christmas. So technically, I'm on time. <laughs> My excuses are so original. But anyway, it's the truth and here's my video. Enjoy! Okay, I didn't really know where to start, but I'll start with the little things because, you know, I'm trying to build some anticipation. <laughs> but the first thing is these books. Oh my gosh! I don't know if you guys know of these Blythe books. They're quite recent, I think, anyway. <laughs> but they're the Blythe collection books. This is number one and number two. And then there's this one. I love paper goods and obviously I love Blythe's. So when I saw these were being released, I knew I had to get them. It just took me some time, but you know, we got them. You can see I've only opened this one because I just really haven't had time to go through them. But I'll give you a little sneak peek. So this is the first one and just gives you information on all the Blythe releases. It literally has every release ever. So it'll be on the molds and the eyes. You can see it's like oh the dolls it's so pretty it's the literally the best book ever <laughs> it's all in japanese but you can translate it easily with the translator app and just goes through all the dolls their accessories their original price the illustrations the petites my favorite little ones and there's even some midis at the back so that's the first one the second one is Pretty much the same thing just with the newer releases I'm assuming I haven't opened it yet so I don't know and the custom one goes through actually let's open it the custom one goes through some of the more renowned 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 <laughs> okay let's just skip that it goes <laughs> it shows some of the customizers worldwide and their works what am I saying I'm sorry guys I'm not really with it today so there's that one Oh, and it shows you, I don't know what's showing you, a little bit of background on Blythe's. Oh, oh my gosh, I didn't even know. It actually gives you some little tips on how to customise your own doll. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, that's so cute. This is a really good book. <laughs> this is actually really good if you're wanting to start out customising. It is, again, all in Japanese, but I think the pictures say enough. Look at that. This is actually really good. This is a great gift for someone if you know what's if you know someone who's starting out. Um, this is some little advert thing and all that. I'm trying to oh, go through different looks. They call this one healthy. <laughs> oh cute. Oh, I like this one. This one's retro. I'm trying to find maybe it's not this book. Oh it is. So it goes through some of the more popular or oh look that's Dr. Blycene of course. Junior Moon. <laughs> so it's got international and local or Japanese customizers through there. Oh my gosh, Ran Ran is one of my favourites. And Erin Deer, she's a very well known European artist. 
so yeah that's that very cute let's move that to the side this one's not really blood related but i thought i'd show you guys anyway this was a gift from a friend and it's like some little cute diy kit and you just make little desserts isn't that cute i don't know how well you can see it because i've still got the packaging on it it's a bit big for Blythe, I use little cups, but it'd be good for like an MSD or SD size border. Okay, clearly I should have asked for an SD card for Christmas because mine just ran out of memory. <laughs> but it's okay, we're back. I don't remember what I was saying about this, but there's not much to say. It's not ideal for Blythe's, but it's good for MSD or SD size BJDs. It's just a really cute craft. You can make little desserts for adults. So yeah, let's move on. This package I don't want to talk too much about because it's going to be in an incoming, incoming, <laughs> upcoming video. But I'm really excited, and you guys should be too because I have no idea what this is. Yeah, you'll find out about it soon. <laughs> Let's move on to the dolls. Yay! So first, I'll show you this one. She's not a blithe, but she's equally as cute. It's a Mui Chan. Where is she? Here she is. Ah, isn't she so cute? If you guys are familiar with Monsters Inc, you'll know she's based off the Boo character. And like the original person I am, I named her Boo. <laughs> but it just suits her so much. She's so cute. I've wanted this doll for a while, but she was a Hong Kong exclusive and I am in Hong Kong. <laughs> so I never had the opportunity to buy her. But recently I did have the opportunity and she was re-released and on sale. So of course I bought her a little bit of a close-up. I got her a mohair wig because I don't like the plastic one she comes with. It's a bit of a mess, so I'm still figuring that out. She's so cute. Look at that little face. Oh, I love her so much. I'm so glad I have her. This like made my Christmas. There she is again. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the Blythes. Well, Blythe, because I only have one. Um I got a Simply Lilac. I don't usually like the Simply dolls because they're a bit too simple. But they're great for customizers, and I think that's the reason why they were originally made. So here's mine. She she is a Simply Lilac, I promise. <laughs> here's her hair. I changed her hair into this blonde, this pinky peachy blonde color because I'm sending her out to be customized. I'm not going to talk too much about that either because I want it to be a surprise, but I'm really excited. <laughs> so here's a close-up. She does have really pretty makeup. I love the colour of her lips. She's a lot more pale than I expected, but that's alright. And her hair is a bit of a mess. So it's just kind of like a last-minute purchase because this opportunity came up and I took it. <laughs> so I needed a doll that I could send off. And she was my choice. I did want her to go off with go off. <laughs> I did want to send her out with her original purple lilac skull. But I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. And I think I like this better on like a tan or dark skin doll. So I'm gonna save this for another doll and send her like this. Yeah, here she is. She just comes with this outfit she's wearing. It's a top and a separate skirt. I really like this skirt, it's so cute. I'll show you her eye chip colours too. The Simply Dolls are really basic if you don't already know, so there's nothing too special about them. So here's her side glancing blue, orange, green, and pink, which is showing up really red. I wish she had purple eye chips, that'd be really cute, but special eye chips and Simply Blides don't go. <laughs> I'm gonna change it because I don't like these pink ones. I think they're a bit creepy. Back to blue. So yeah, we're sending her off. She's gonna come back. A totally new doll. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I have a lot of upcoming things happening that I'm excited about, but everything's just kind of in progress at the moment. So yeah, that's my gift to myself. Most of these are my gifts to myself. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys. I bought this little swimsuit thing. It's also from XT who make the Mui Chan dolls. This girl. So it's for her. But if it's Blythe's, and I just think it looks really cute. I actually got this idea from 
oh gosh, I completely forgot her name, Dolly Treasures on Instagram. She took a photo, her doll's wearing this swimsuit and I just fell in love, so I had to copy. <laughs> Thank you for the inspo. So yeah, does that so cute. But that's pretty much all I have to show you guys. I'm sorry, this video is a mess. I'm kind of in a rush at the moment. <laughs> so that's why I'm not retaking a lot of these scenes. They're just kind of as is. But that's pretty much what's going on. Oh, I didn't really show you the inside of her box. Oh, but okay, there's not much to show anyway. She just comes with a pair of boots and a white stand. Whoops. A white stand and a pink headband, which you can't see very well because... I'm doing a great job filming. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But you get the idea. It's very simple and not very exciting. But she's a good starter doll, especially if you want to customize or get into the hobby. So, yeah, that's all. I'm going to stop talking and thank you for your patience, guys. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Have a great holiday period if you're still on holidays. And yeah, that's it. Bye.